Right, hi guys, and welcome back to another video on Plan Swift. Right, so for today, uh, we're not going to be doing any measurement. Uh, we're going we're to be talking about merging. Right, so as you, uh, for those who have really used Plan Swift for a while, you realize that every single um, drawing that you load in via the page function, it has to be under a job. So when you work in Plan Swift, there's always a hierarchy. You have to create a job first before you can load in your drawings then before you can do your measurements and reporting right so there is a hierarchy um, kind of system so because of that um, some of the uh, some of the methods in which you work is that you can split uh, the workload so for example i can have someone you um, someone load a few drawings on their computer and uh, does probably the architectural works and there can be another person with another set of drawings like the structural drawings and they do the structural drawings but at the end of the day uh, you may need to actually combine right because uh, different drawings different measurements you may want to combine them together as they are part of one whole project right so we can call that merging or we can call that combine so that's what we're going to do today right so first things first is that i have really pre-set up two um, simple jobs right one is just simply called first job uh, and the other one is called kind of second job Right, so the first job which I have here, this is the structural one, and I have the second job which is basically my architectural one. Right, so both have a few, both have a drawing in it, and both have measurements done as well. Right, so to set up for this, you need one more job created. Right, so I'm just gonna say job three, this is the third job. Right, so just take note, this third job will be the job that is uh, being merged. Right, so this will be the combination of the first and second job together. Right, so something you have to take note is that this job should not have any drawings in it at all. No drawings, no measurements, so keep it empty. Right, okay, just click next, finish. Right, okay, so once uh, you have done that, we are done with plan Swift for now. Now let's jump back to uh, the location of the files. Right, so plan Swift uh, files, that means your jobs, your drawings, your measurements, everything is stored within in your C drive by default. Right, if you would like to actually save that on a network storage, uh, check out another video uh, which I have posted uh, for plan Swift as well. Right, for, uh, for today, we are going to be working in the default location, which is your C drive. Right, so the default location is under your program files, under plan Swift, right, depending on which version you have. If you have plan Swift 9, then just search for plan Swift 9. Right, under plan Swift, under the data, and then under storages, right, under local, right, under jobs. Right, so once you reach jobs, you will see that I have the three jobs over here. Right, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to open the job tree under a separate window, and I'm going to open job 1. Right, so what's going to happen is that when you take a look at this, I have on my left here, this is job 3, and on the right here, this is job 1. All right, so you can see the difference between, um, between a job with measurements and a job without. Right, the difference is that there are this folder called auto list and also this folder called remember values. Right, so the first thing you have to, you, you have to do is to transfer these two over first, just the folder itself. Okay, so if you take a look inside, there are certain files, right? No need to bother, just copy them over. So I'm just going to select this, copy, paste. So Control C, Control V, right? Uh, please do not touch the data file. Always do not need to touch the data file, right? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go into the pages, right? So if I go into pages, right now it's empty because I didn't load any drawings. But for drop one, I do have them, which is under this canopy plan. So I'm going to do the same thing, copy over. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is under takeoff. Right. So copy the takeoffs over. Right. So with this, I'm done with job one. Right. So now I'm going to go over to job two. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing. Right. So pages. I'm going to copy this over here. And under takeoff, I will come to takeoff and copy these two here right so once th uh, that has been done what you need to do next is to close 
Alright, so I restarted Plan Swift and you see now it is drop three and I have uh, have the uh, drawings and the measurements from both of them. Right, so this is uh, how you actually merge uh, your drops from different locations and also different sources. At this point, uh, you are clear to delete whatever data there is uh, on drop one and drop two as well. Right, so I hope this has helped you out. Right, thank you. See you again.